Today we've got a very special video planned. As you might know, the Forte series recently released a new hair dryer, and I thought, yeah, you know, I could do a standard showcase style review, give you a few thoughts, maybe some demos, and I'm gonna do that for sure. We're gonna do that. But you guys know too that I've been using the Dyson blow dryer for years now. So I thought, why not? Let's make this fun and see how this new Forte series dryer compares to the Dyson one. I mean, you guys love comparisons, right? So, you know, why not? First though, let's take a look at this new Forte series blow dryer. And according to the brand, the Forte Series Pro Dryer is the ultimate heat tool engineered to help men achieve a wider range of high volume enviable hairstyles. And unlike most heat tools on the market that use clip-on attachments, the Forte Pro Dryer features a built-in magnetic nozzle that allows you to quickly swap attachments and cut your styling routine time in half. It's also got a multi-setting motor that allows you to dry and shape your hair with high flowing heat and then safely lock in your style using cold air with just a flip of a switch. It also folds down to make storage and traveling much easier. Price-wise, we are looking at $74 US before my channel discount. Now, speaking specifically about those magnetic attachments, you got a diffuser here designed for curly and wavy hair types, and then a concentrator that is designed to help anyone quickly achieve a high volume style. Now, as far as these tests and comparisons go, I'm feeling pretty scientific today. So for the beginning of these tests, I am actually going to test the airflow coming out of each unit. And I'm gonna do this with the help of this thing right here called an anemometer and an anemometer Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. And now that I know how to say that word, I'm going to use it to measure the airflow on each unit at full speed to just see if there's a comparable amount of air coming out. Here's the Dyson now, and on full blast, you can see it's measuring here at between 24 and 26 knots. Not too bad, I'd have to say. Switching over to the Forte series dryer here now, we can see that it does come in a little bit slower between 19 and 21 knots. Now, there's obviously more airflow coming through the Dyson, and that's even more evident as we jump into the demo test here. And for this test, we're going to do a combined demo. On the left side, we've got the Dyson that I've been using forever, the same one. And the right side, we've got the new Forte series dryer. And I'm doing the same thing for each one here using freshly washed and towel dried hair with some sea salt spray in there. And we're just going to see what comes out. I have an idea what the Dyson will do as I pretty much use that daily. But we do need to see what the Forte series unit will produce in this normal styling setting. I'm also timing each one to see how long it takes to dry the hair. And surprisingly, even though the Dyson is putting out more airflow and more power as we already established, I'm seeing here that both dryers are actually drying my hair at about the same speed. I do think the strength of the air in the Dyson does produce a bit of a difference in the end as far as shape and volume goes. And you can see that for yourself here when you look at the end result. But when it comes to drying time, the Dyson dried my hair in about one minute and 20 seconds, where the Forte series came in at about one minute and 24 seconds. So really, I'd say they completed the job in about the same time. Now though, let's look at the build difference is here. We can see that the Dyson is obviously bigger and that's not just, you know, after we do the folding of the Forte dryer, just looking at them as is, we can see that the Forte dryer is a smaller and more portable unit. Again, that's before you fold it up, which makes it even more portable. We can see here that this function makes it perfect for traveling. It fits much easier into a bag than trying to fit this big freaking thing and all its cord into your bag or suitcase. That being said, though, there are some big differences too that I need to highlight. The Dyson has a lot of options for airflow and and temperature. You can turn up the heat, you can turn down the heat, you can turn up the airflow, you can turn down the airflow, and you have a dedicated cold air button. The Forte, though, has only three options. You got the cold air, and then you have the level one and level two, with obviously the level two being a tad more intense than level one. Looking at the materials, though, the Forte series one doesn't feel cheap at all. I think it looks and feels pretty good, actually. It's got a nice matte gripped material that makes it easy to hold and comfortable to use. The biggest difference, though, in my eyes, is the price. The Forte dress dryer comes in at $74 before discount. The Dyson, on the other hand, comes in at $429. So there's a major difference there. There's also a lot of opinions out there I'm aware of where people don't think the Dyson is worth it. And I'm not going to get into all that. That's really subjective. But based on what I see here, the Dyson obviously has more function, more power, and of course, 
little bit better results in my opinion, but it's also more money. So for someone that doesn't want to spend that and would like to stay around the price point of the Forte Series 1, I do think this is a solid tool for sure and you'd still be able to get great results from it. And really, I do see the reason for wanting to compare the two units for sure. I also kind of think we're missing the point by doing it though. I think for the price point, this provides a lot better results than others in a similar price range. Did we really need to compare it to the Dyson? Maybe not. For me though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this as both a backup blow dryer and a traveling unit because I will say for me, this is 100% more travel friendly and better than any one of those crappy hotel blow dryers. In the end, as always, the final verdict is up to you. And if you'd like to check this out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below along with a discount code for you as a subscriber of my channel, which if you're not, you absolutely need to do right now. Go ahead, hit that button. I really appreciate it. And after you hit that subscribe button, very important by the way, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this blow dryer. I'm always interested in hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for that and for checking out this video with me. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.